So while I was at home over the Christmas holidays, my dad noticed that uh, the shoes I was wearing had very soft soles, so my feet had a tendency to kind of collapse in, right? So it was all a bit undignified. Uh, and he said, look, you have to get yourself a, pair, a new pair of shoes now. Uh, and I was like, oh, dad. So anyway, so I went, I went out, bought myself a new pair of shoes. And in the shoe shop, <coughs> they had one of these kind of poster things where you see the skeleton of the person and uh, the difference that kind of fallen arches make, or like, you know, when you've got, basically, when you've got bad feet or bad shoes, of course, it's a shoe shop. When you've got bad shoes, um, like the foot bone's connected to the knee bone, the knee bone's connected to the hip bone, the hip bone's connected to the back bone, all this kind of thing. So if your feet are wrong, then, it, then the hips are wrong, and then the, the, the spine has to correct, and then basically if you've got a bad foundation, everything after it goes wrong, right? If you've got a bad foundation, everything after it's out of place, trying to correct what was wrong at the beginning, the foundation. If you get the foundation right, then the knees are parallel, then your hips are parallel, and then your back is straight. All, all is as it should be. So it got me thinking about, about today, uh, Solemnity of Our Lady, Mother of God, this dogma declared in Ephesus in 431, that Our Lady is the, the Mother of God. <clears throat> what was her foundation? You know, what's like the kind of the, the, the bedrock, the base of it all that allows her then to, to reach such heights? in the church, in history, and in the plan of salvation. The, the foundation, I think, for, for Our Lady, and I, we've said this before here, but I think we, we, we need to say these things, we need to repeat these things, the, 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 these, these good things, these true things, we need to repeat over and over again. What made Our Lady so powerful, actually, in the history of, of mankind is that Our Lady relies entirely on God. Our Lady it's Our Lady's humility, Our Lady's receptivity to God. So that the fact that she was not full of herself, but full of grace. Hail, full of grace. Not hail, you're really talented and you can do amazing things and you're just fantastic and you've got all these things. You're full of God. You're not full of yourself. You're not full of talents such that, 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 that you have such manufactured. But you're full of, you're full of God. You're empty of yourself, full of full of something so much better, full of God, full of grace. Uh, and then that's how Our Lady then can be greeted by her cousin Elizabeth. Who am I that I should be visited by the mother of my Lord? That I should be visited by the mother of God. So uh, this, this title is so, so beautiful and so scriptural and, and just has, has so many uh, levels to it. So, so, much, so much depth. Um, and for... I think this is it's universally accepted across all Christian denominations that Our Lady is the Mother of God. So this, the, the bedrock then, the foundation uh, of her life that allowed her to be, to be so great is, is this littleness, this humility, the smallness before God. Uh, someone sent me a little message this morning. It's a little anecdote, but uh, I think it, it makes a good point uh, where there's a little young fella in a shop and they don't have it well these days probably for health and safety reasons they don't really have them anymore but those big jars of sweets you know you see, you see me, there's some shops not really you can, some shops have them but you have to put on like sterile gloves and you have to use the little scoop and so on and so forth whereas back in the day kids would just stick their hands in and say i'll take them um but so uh the the the, the little child is in the shop there with his dad and uh they're, they're shopping away and they're paying for all the bits and pieces and the shopkeeper sees the little boy and says, look, one, here, take a, take a fistful of sweets there. And the young lad looks up at his dad and the shopkeeper is kind of waiting for someone to give the nod and he says, no, no, no off, off you go, like, take, take a fistful, take a fistful, work away. And again, the young fellow looks up at his dad and uh, again, the shopkeeper is kind of waiting for someone to move here. <laughs> What's happening here? He says, look, no, really, really, I'm, I mean, I'm giving you permission. Work away, work away. And then the father just reaches in and takes a, takes a handful of sweets and gives them to his son. And the uh, shopkeeper said, um, do you mind me asking, why, why didn't you just grab them yourself? And he said, my dad has bigger hands. <laughs> and I think there's a lovely idea, you know, when we allow ourselves to receive things from God rather than feeling I, I have to do this myself. 
that like, I have to lose myself can lead us to, to spiritual pride or to, to, to pride of, of, of what we have achieved here in the world. Uh, whereas when I know all I have done, I have done through him. All I've done, I've done through God. All I've done, I've done through his grace. Then I know my littleness and I know what I am before him. I know what I am without him. So we don't rely on ourselves. We rely on him. We build on him. And that's not low self-esteem or that's uh, not a uh, lack of self-realization. We become truly ourselves when we become what we're supposed to be in God, when we become what we're supposed to be through his grace. And so we ask the good Lord to bless each one of us today on this solemnity, this great day, in which we join in the celebration ongoing in heaven. I don't think they celebrate New Year's Day in heaven. Probably not. I don't think it makes much of a difference to them. But I think they do celebrate uh, our Blessed Lady. They do celebrate her as, as queen. They do celebrate her maternity. They do celebrate the glory and mercy of God on a daily basis. So we join with that heavenly celebration here on earth, asking now that that heavenly joy might be ours today and throughout this year of 2021. Amen. <laughs>